I'm trying out, you know Bass and Rums has 31 flavors? Yeah. We've got 7,000 different flavors of espresso in here. I'm just trying one of each. All right, well, we're supposed to be filming workout videos. Put down that espresso and let's All right. Go. So, we're going to do today, we got P, Plyometric Cardio. We're going to start this week for Plyometric Cardio. Now, Plyometric, we're always focusing on power. So we're focusing on getting your heart rate up. It's going to work on your force production. It's going to work on burning calories to help you burn fat, get strong, look great. Now, for our plyometric cardio exercise this week, we're going to be doing the squat thrust. Christian, you know what a squat thrust is? Squat thrust? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, squat thrust, you've probably done it before, and if you don't know what it is, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to walk you through it. So, let me do this. We can do it with the mat. Okay, so first step is you're going to squat back. So feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to squat your hips back. Get as low as you can with that squat. You can take your hands off your hips. Squat as low as you possibly can. Good, then place your hands on the floor. Then you're going to jump back into like, a plank. Like a burpee, kind of? Yeah. And then you're going to, are your feet still in the frame? Do you have to go that wide? I'm not sure. I think so, but I'm not sure. All right, and jump back forward. Okay, good. Get back onto your heels. And that's it, and you're gonna jump back. Good, so you jump forward, and then you jump back. So that's the idea, is you're jumping into the bottom of the squat. Now, a couple tips here. So this is not just, the way most people do it, I even looked online before I did this to see how most people do it. And the way most people do it, it does burn calories, but it doesn't get all the benefits we can get out of it. It doesn't really work on your mobility and your control. Like This could be great for your joints, it could be great for your movement patterns, but most people do it in a way that's just gonna cause more knee pain. So here's the key. Let's start from here from the plank. Now, when you jump forward, think about how we want to be in the bottom of the squat. So the feet should be right outside the hands. You should be on your whole foot, and especially on the outside. So you know how we've talked about a few times in Saturday's Paul workout, how you have the tendency, like a lot of people do, to, that church their knees, is that the foot rolls in, yeah. right? And then the knee caves in, we have the knee valgus. So what you want to be focusing on here is when you jump forward, trying to land in the position that we want. Right? And if you can train your body to land that way, mm -hmm. without having to, without landing on the wrong end and readjusting, then you're gonna train your body to naturally be there. Like if you can land from, a, if you jump up and land in the position you want, then your body's gonna, it's gonna become more and more natural for your body and you'll be able to not even have to think about it, have the proper knee mechanics, you'll feel better. So, move forward just in case you're not on the frame. Okay, so now when you jump up, try to get your feet right outside of your hands. That's really good. but. See how your feet are still? So Wait, don't move it. Ah, I want to see. Okay, move that right foot out of the way so they can see. Just move so that the camera can see it. This is right here. Move here. This is how Crystal landed. This is what I was talking about. So the foot turns out and then the knee caves in. Do it from the front so you can see it. So it's. Do you want me to do it again? No, just put your foot in front of you so the camera can see it. So it's this tendency the foot coming out and then the knee going in. And just the same things with squats. So that's knee value. So a lot of people have. So the feet turn out. You might even notice you have this right now. Be like, oh, that's why my knee's been hurting for the last 10 years. So the feet turn out, and then you roll into the inside of your foot. You lose the arch of your foot, and then the knees can't come together. And that causes that knee value, that knee pain. So that's what we're working on right now. So now Krista, jumping forward. <laughs> Better. Good. And now the truth is, you can be turned out a little, little bit, but I want you to try to minimize that as much as possible. Okay, good. Now we. Good, okay, but now try to get your hips down. But like you're in a squat, not like you're rounding your lower back. See so how you're all the way around it here? Okay, go ahead and do it from the side so they can see. So, step back, so jump forward. Good, land coming down. Now try to get your spine straight. Good. And then go ahead and do it again. Let's jump back. Now jump forward into the squat. Good, now you're good at it. That right foot's a little bit still pointed out, but you're getting better at staying at the outside of your foot. Let's do it again. Try to get the foot, feet facing forward. That one, so it's the same thing. See that right one? Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. Okay, so now focus on, it's gonna feel to you like your feet are pointed in. There you go, now you're getting it. That feel okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now that you've got the form down, we're gonna go and we're gonna run through a full 30 seconds just to run through the Paul workout on Saturday. Okay. All right, so when you guys are watching this, when you just saw a full form correction, you understand what you're going to do. Now, right now, what I want you to do is put on a timer, do it along with Krista. We're going to see how many Krista and you can do in 30 seconds. And I want you to mark down the number. I want you to comment it below in this video, however many you did. And then on Saturday, I want you to beat that record. We're going to do the full power workout live at 9 a.m. You got a timer? 
Yep. All right, give us a countdown. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, you're halfway. <laughs> Can you do 12? <laughs> no. Seven. She's slowing down, she's losing it. Eight, five seconds, four, nine, three, two. All right, she got 10, just at the buzzer. <laughs> so Chris is gonna comment 10 on this video. I want you to comment however many you got. That is your key plyometric cardio exercise of the week. You'll see you tomorrow for A, abs.